Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your September 2020 general readings. We're looking at the first half of September from the 1st to the 15th. This reading is for the air sign of Aquarius. Welcome everyone. I hope you're all safe and well and sane and that you continue to stay that way. Uh, thank you always and appreciation for all that you do in support of this channel. Your likes, your shares, subscribing to the channel, your donations, your support, feedback, comments. Uh, thank you so much for all that you do. So this reading is for Aquarius for the first half of September. So that if you're, if Aquarius is your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, or if you're a cross-watching for an Aquarian, it's all relevant. Um, however, being a general reading, it's going to resonate, of course, a little differently for everyone who watches it in the details and specifics and the intensity. So if you know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, watch them all because it can create a more comprehensive picture of what's going on in your life, which may help you navigate through it a little bit better. If any of the readings do resonate with you and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading or information about that, you can get... Uh, contact details by clicking on the description link below. Click on that little arrow. You'll see my email address there, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to hear from you. I can usually respond the same day or the first 24 hours. And I do readings full time. It's all that I do. So scheduling personal readings is done in as timely a fashion as possible. I'm pretty diligent at working with everyone's schedules and my own. So email me if you're interested. I would be happy to work with you. I do offer a wide variety of readings. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what the first half of September has in store for you. I am using Legacy of the Divine Tarot. Uh, if we need to clarify, I will be using the Gilded Tarot Royale. Okay, Aquarius, we begin with the Wheel of Fortune. Great way to start out. Ooh. <laughs> followed by the devil spoke too soon the wheel of fortune and the devil Ooh, be careful this combination can often reference a situation which seems heaven sent which seems like it could be a lot of fun it's divine timing but it could get out of control really easily there's some kind of toxic tempting vice obsessive energy there so it could get out of control quite easily tread lightly yeah the nine of swords followed by the ace of cups from the bottom of the deck overall energy is the two of cups Aquarius, there's a situation in front of you, or that you're in. It feels like divine timing and orchestration, like a stroke of good luck of good fortune. However, the devil energy is driving it, which means this is something that could get out of control quite quickly by you being too obsessive about it, and it could ruin possibly something that you already have and it looks like new love and romance and there's a lot of stress and anxiety around it I mean we have the nine of swords which is stress anxiety insomnia worrying about a future that hasn't unfolded yet oh, what if this happens what if this doesn't happen well if I do this then what if this and if I do this then what if that and all of that kind of stuff <clears throat> and what clarifies that is the ace of cups the beginning of the heart opening up again new love and romance and we have the soulmate kindred spirit best friend connection as the overall energy fascinating have to clarify I mean if this is new love and romance coming in with a what you see as a potential soulmate why would there be the devil energy is this somebody that you would be so toxically drawn to because the devil represents imbalance obsessive toxic energy um, which is why it can represent addictions negative relationships obsessiveness compulsiveness temptations vices 
it means something that we're kind of enslaved to. We return to over and over again because the temptation, the vice, um, is so great. Even if the thing itself or the person itself isn't wrong, like alcohol or pain medication or, you know, love, uh, but doing it in an obsessive way that is detrimental to us and the people around us. That's that's the devil. It's enslavement to something which may or may not be good, but we do it to an obsessive degree that it becomes unhealthy and toxic, and we return to it over and over again. Enslavement means a continuous cycle, and it's right next to this Ace of Cups. We're going to have to clarify Let's clarify the Two of Cups, because that's your overall energy, the overall theme, or the, the, the thread that runs through this whole thing. It feels like there's a disconnect between the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups, like it's two different situations. Like perhaps you're, you're already in a long-term committed relationship with a great match, and there's this new person that's come in, or new thing, it could be a different situation that's come in, and you're like... I want to leave this thing I already have or this person in order to pursue this and I feel this like obsessive draw towards it and it's causing me and you may be telling yourself that it's not that big a deal or that you know it must be coming in because God wants me to have it or something like that but there's toxic energy underneath it. God, spirit, your angels, and guides would not bring something to you that they want you to take that has this energy. This comes from the other side of the fence, right? Let's clarify this Two of Cups. What is this Two of Cups? Tell me about this Two of Cups. The Ten of Cups, the Happy Home card. And this is not an overnight card either. Tens in the tarot, they can represent cycle ending, cycle fulfillment, a, a completion of, of something. But it, 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 it's the, the ten holds the most of the energy of that suit. This is the ten of cups, which is the ten of emotion. This is the happy home card. This is finally feeling like you're at a place where all the pieces have come together. Balance, harmony, particularly in regards to home and family. Childbirth, marriage, blessings, everything around home and family. But this is not an overnight card, meaning that the 10 begins with the ace and it takes time to work through all the numbers to get to the 10, to that fulfillment part. And I think herein is the nature of the dysfunction or the imbalance here. This feels like there's a situation. So the one thing that's loud and clear for some of you is that this is a, a love romance relationship, everything that falls under that umbrella situation. This looks like you already have an established relationship, home, marriage, family, etc. Whatever that happy home means for you. And it's, I mean, you have it with somebody that you're well matched with. This is something you already have. The Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups. Perhaps someone that you thought this was going to be your happily ever after until mm, the eighth, until the devil brought in this Ace of Cups. And you're trying to tell yourself, even though there's a lot of stress underneath it, that it must be, it must be meant to be. Because I don't think this Wheel of Fortune is coming in as divine timing orchestration because it's spirit bringing this opportunity to you. I think this is what you're telling yourself that it is. And it can also be that spirit is allowing this to be, to happen, to come in, um, to uh, perhaps teach you something that you need to learn, etc. Um... Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. Why all the stress, anxiety, worry? Well, other than the fact that if you're caught in between these two situations, you know, there's a choice to be made. Why the Nine of Swords? Tell me about the Nine of Swords. The Two of Wands. Oh, look at that. The Two of Swords right behind it. Yeah. Did I just say there was a decision to be made? There he is. Got to choose a path, left or right. 
don't want to though there's a reluctance and a resistance to looking at something that's right in front of you what your own intuition is telling you because anytime in a tarot card you see the moon here it's very subtle but it's full it, it can represent a lot of different things but one of the primary things it represents is that the deep almost visceral primitive feelings we get in the pit of our stomach you know that warn us about danger and that you know that we can't explain but you know that feeling here the two swords swords represent air which is all about the mind the moon can represent intuition there's a blindfold here the two of swords often represents a reluctance and a resistance to see what is real to take a look at it and ignoring your intuition because you know there's this choice or you feel there's a choice to be made one could argue that honorably and ethically there is no choice here to be made if you look at it from a pure honor pure ethic point of view because you already have your two ten of cups two of cups but you don't want to see that because there's this new bright shiny thing here I mean don't shoot the messenger this is for some of you and it's not to say that you can't have a long-term relationship or marriage and have it run its course and then have some other opportunity and do and you know dissolve this to to go over here there's an honorable way and an honest and transparent way to do that however this new shiny thing that's coming in this ace of cups is fueled by the energy of the devil so it's toxic or the hold it has on you is potentially toxic even though you're telling yourself it's not I mean it, it you know if I look at it outside of a pure romantic relationship situation three-party or whatever it could be that you have this happy home relationship marriage something solid stable whatever the ten of cups and two of cups represents for you and something else has come in which is very tempting it might not be a relationship it might be a different situation that is really risky a financial investment leaving an established job for something new that may turn out to be the worst mistake you ever made because the devil is not a good energy in this situation so let's clarify the devil why this toxic obsessive energy what's behind this this combination right <laughs> the tower clarifies the devil because what what is solid stable reliable what you've been living in for quite some time ie the ten of cups happy home or whatever that means to you will come crumbling down because you leave you turn your back on it oh here's another ace of cups for this new thing so we have these two so it's a new opportunity a new emotion yeah so so that's what's behind the energy of the devil something solid stable reliable being crumbling down breaking down uh, because of leaving to find what you feel is better for you this is kind of like I mean not that this is your personal situation but it's like okay I've been with this person for X amount of time I've been really happy but here comes this bright shiny new thing you know and I want this more or here comes this new opportunity for whatever and I'm going to take it even though it might destroy my home life <sighs> well heavy I, I think it's pretty clear here Aquarius what direction spirit would like you to go in I think that they're presenting to the best of my poor abilities what would happen if you made the decision to leave the stability of what you've had for so long for this new thing it would cause you know it'd be kind of like an earthquake a big Hiroshima kind of thing free will free agency of course 
I mean, I think it's clear what spirit is indicating here in terms of advice. Don't do it. Big vote no. You could always choose to do so, but I mean, this is what's going to happen. You're running the risk of losing this and everything that went into getting this for this. But just to complete it, let's pull one or two advice cards from Spirit. What is the best way for Aquarius to navigate through this energy, this temptation really, for the first half of September? is to stay with that which is stable and which has put, been so long in the making of. You have a couple here. Okay. So first of all, it's really clear. If this is about a romantic relationship, Spirit is advising you that you stay with what you already have. It's showing up as the Ten of Cups, so it's a good, solid, stable energy. Stay with that. For those of you for whom this is not a third-party situation being tempted by an affair or a new person or leaving your wife or husband or whatever for this other person it might be there's you know there, there's a temptation for a new beginning or some new opportunity coming it might not be love and romance it could be you know a financial investment that looks too good to be true uh, it is too good to be true here in this situation you know whatever the, the temptation is you're being told in no uncertain terms to Stay with what you've built up, what's stable. Because whatever this temptation, I mean, it's a general reading, so what it is, who it is, is going to vary. Whatever the temptation is, person, job, money, whatever, if you choose to take it by telling yourself, oh, it's meant to be, oh, it won't be, it's just, I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be this thing, it will destroy what you have built up. <coughs> Excuse me, that's very clear. So that's the advice. And of course, if it's a relationship, stay with what you've built up. You guys, I mean, you, you whatever it, the primary relationship or situation you have, it's showing up as the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. Happy home, kindred spirits, soulmates. And uh, your advice is the King and Queen of Pentacles. I mean, any sign can make a great match with any other sign. But there's something to be said when a king and queen, a couple, shows up in the same suit. I mean, it's a natural match. This is a natural two of cups kind of energy, too. What you have, what you have that's stable, that's, you know, you put all this time and energy into building it up. Spirit wants you to keep this. If you take this new whatever, it's going to destroy what you have. I mean, it's, it, it could not be more clear here. But as I always say, free will, free agency, <laughs> any path that has lessons is a path of value, even if those lessons are painful. But uh, if you asked me, Aquarius, I'd vote no on this new thing. It just, it, it's it's too risky and you, you, you'll you lose too much. So that was kind of an intense and heavy reading, right? So Aquarius, that is your reading. Um, I won't say I hope you enjoyed it because, you know, it's kind of heavy. But I hope that at least it gave you some perspective, food for thought, that it was useful in some way. Uh, if this reading resonated for you, if any of the videos do, and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, again, just click on the description link for contact details. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire, at gmail.com. I would be most happy to hear from you. I'll see you all in a couple of weeks for the mid-month readings. Until then, stay safe, stay well. I wish you many blessings, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.